Hang tight for the breaking news of Adam Walsh. Welcome to the Punish for Protecting Live broadcast with your host, Francesca Amato, national expert in the Americans with Disabilities Act, domestic violence and child abuse advocate, best-selling author, and founder of Punished for Protecting Incorporated. We welcome all of our viewers watching on Facebook via Punished for Protecting News and the CPS News Network. If you're watching on YouTube at Punish No More and Free to Protect, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. You can also find Punish for Protecting News on Rumble. Now, without further ado, here is your host, Francesca Amato. Good evening and welcome to Punish for Protecting News tonight. Uh, yes, we have a breaking story. If any of you have been following, several months ago, I interviewed, actually, gosh, I think it's been about a year, I interviewed somebody who we have done some background research. And um, I personally, uh, at the time when I did the live video, believed that it, is, that it was Adam Walsh. Um, if you did not get to see that video, you can see that on my YouTube channel or Punished for Protecting News on Facebook. Um, and you can watch the original video that I did. During that video, we went through several different um, aspects of, if anybody knows what happened back in the 80s, the, um, the uh, supposed death of, of little Adam Walsh. Um, tonight, I'm going to be bringing that same guest out only... There's been something you guys have been asking me about. What about a DNA? If you watch the last video, you would see that when I interviewed Adam, um, he discussed how he and his sister, Megan Walsh, which I'm sure many of you have been following that story for quite some time, and also the many stories that I've done interviewing Megan um, and also exposing John Walsh and exposing National Center for Missing and Exploited Children um, for what it really is. And if you haven't been following, you need to start catching up because we have a lot of stories that you need to pay attention to and see. The actual daughter of John Walsh and Revae Walsh um, has been speaking out quite a bit 
and and we've been discussing and I have been talking about for multitudes of years um, the child trafficking industry and how it's all tied in. Now I was fairly young when this happened to young Adam Walsh, and um, you know as the years passed and I started doing the work that I that I do and uh, even the book that I wrote, Punish for Protecting the Injustice System of Family Court, my son and I were considered missing when we weren't missing. Um, it, I remember it, it marveled me, it shocked me to think that they were gonna put us on a, 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 a clearinghouse seeking seek for us and looking for us when we weren't missing. And I thought, geez, that is really exploiting both of us. And so when you think of missing and exploited, you're, I, and with, with the work that I've been doing over the years and with, all the the the, the um, intense research and and, and you know um, what do you call it uh, credentials and and certifications that I've gotten over the years and the work that I've done and the speaking out about this that I've done, um, I kept seeing that there was a link to missing and exploited and missing children and family court and moms that run for protection and and because they're they're just literally having no other choice they're stuck between a rock and a hard place and i started tying it together and i and, and as many of you know i tied it together through the child trafficking industry and exposed that on um, heart of new york tv um several years ago and you know literally took the statistics and started realizing that even through dss and through all of that um to, through health and human services and all of that and all their statistics it actually admits they admit that children are trafficked through the family court they're trafficked through that system you know they're, they're giving the statistics and they're saying over 88 percent of children that go through the foster care system have been trafficked but they're kind of leaving out the fact that they're trafficked through them okay so without further ado what we did is back when i did the first interview and we talked to Adam and Adam and, and, and Megan both did a DNA um, and they both verified this. And Adam, Adam, if you will, um, came out on my program for the first time ever. And he's never been on any other show before and, and will not be um, came out and taught. Well, I don't want to say will not be, but as, as of now, just just been here for Punish for Projecting um, and said that when they did the DNA, the lab lost the DNA. So, so many people watch that video and we're like, well, do a, do a DNA, do a DNA. Now you have to understand the hierarchy of all of this and that this had to be done in the timing in which I did it, in which I we, we did do the DNA again. Um, and tonight we're gonna reveal what we found out. And I know you guys are very excited about that. But before I begin doing that, I want you to see this one picture, a couple of pictures here. Um, this is a side-by-side. -side. This is a side-by-side -side of Reve uh, Walsh, which would be the mother, and Adam Walsh, currently uh, now almost 48. <laughs> so this was last year. <coughs> and we had it, you know, we had a side by side done. And you guys can kind of look for yourself. You know, tell me what you think in the comments. Look for yourself um, and tell me what you think. Look at the shape of the nose. Look at the shape of the mouth. Look at the shape of the cheekbones. Look at the eye shape. You know, look at the eyebrow shape. And tell me if that's not pretty shocking to you. Um, likewise, we have this photograph of John Walsh and Adam in a side by side. And again, please look at the look at the shapes. You know, look at the shape of the eyes. Uh, the nose would be a little different, and the mouth, and the cheekbones, and the eyebrows. And again, in comments, I would like to know what y'all think. But how about meeting? The, the actual person. So why don't we go ahead and bring out Adam by Lily. Hello there, can you turn it? Are you able to turn it sideways? There we go, that's why you have a better a better thing. Now we're gonna show you, and how are you doing tonight? Hang on. Okay. I'm doing pretty well. Doing pretty well? Yep. So we went and we had you go ahead and I'm going to just put that on the screen. We had you do the DNA and yep. you also go by Lily. Okay. And yeah, we're going to talk Lily. about, you'll go by Lily and we're going to talk about the traumatic event that took place many years ago in the eighties or 81, I believe it was. And I'd like you to try to kind of tell the viewers, but I, before we go any further, and if you don't mind, we did the DNA. And one of the, the things that came up when we did the DNA is that the DNA absolutely said irrevocably that you are male, correct? Right. Which yeah. we're going to be showing a lot of that for the viewers if you're wondering what's going on here. Um, but you identify as Lily and also as Adam. Is that correct? Correct. 
So why don't we go back to some things because um, there's a few photographs that I have here. Matter of fact, here's one where this is the uh, this is what they used back in the 80s when they were looking for you, when they were looking for you. <coughs> and I'm going to show everybody. So, you know, hang tight because I know there's a lot in this in this show tonight. But when they were looking for you, this is the photo that they used primarily, which is the one with the cap. And you told me something very e interesting today when we talked earlier, we were testing StreamYard out. You told me that, because I remember in the last interview, you were very surprised that the people that had you, one of the first things that they did was t took you and had a tooth pulled. Is that right? That's right. They had dental records done, like two, they wanted two records and they pulled one of my teeth out. Mm -hmm. uh, and you found it straight. It was my second molar. They pulled it was out. A second. And you said yeah. you found it strange, right? Yeah, I found it strange that immediately as I get in with them, like mm -hmm. they take me to the dentist. I just found it kind of weird. Yeah, well, we find, we, find it, we find it weird too. And obviously you guys want to know what the DNA said and we're just hang on to that because we're going to take you through a series of questions that people have been asking me for close to a year since the last time I interviewed you. Um, but if you look at this, we kind of had it, you know, we'd like to have this, we had this done for you guys. So you can see the picture and then they kind of like, you know, started kind of, I don't know how they call this, but like imposing your face, for imposing your face yeah. into it. And so you can see, and the audience is saying, here we have one, the area between the nose and upper lip and also area between the eyebrows change as we get older. So the two pics of Adam's slight difference is actually normal and expected. And then people are saying, looks just like him. Welcome, Adam. Um, Someone here says, I lived in Fort Pierce, Florida when this happened. Um, and don't worry, we're not going anywhere. Truth exposed. And you can tell it's Adam. And this is before you guys are even hearing the DNA results. But the first result was, you know, is this person a male or a female? That is your very first, your very first DNA results. And the very first DNA results definitely said that Adam is a male. Okay, born male. Okay, so now with that... And as you know, we took the DNA and so on and so forth. Um, so we had nobody on the other side to to compare the DNA, but 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 Megan had already done the DNA, so we are be, we were able to have the DNA traced over a period of time, and it took several weeks. Um, and I'm going to start showing some of that, guys. So I do appreciate you guys, you guys liking, sharing. You know, if you're on YouTube, hit the bell icon um, and share this because this is an important message that everybody should know about. And it's a game changer in the work that we've been doing. But why don't you talk about this picture here, Adam, um, if you could please. You said that this photograph came when? Before or after the one that they showed? After. <laughs> and that was about 1984. So that when I had my When my teeth came in. Okay, now you can actually, guys, people can look this up and if you guys can Google Adam Walsh, you, you'll you see this photograph. You'll see this actual photograph. Um, and so this is pretty amazing because now the front teeth have grown in. If you go to the original photograph, the one that was like the world famous photograph, so to speak, the one where, sorry, not that one, the one where, the one with the baseball cap, you're missing the teeth there. Yeah. So that's where you're missing. You're missing the teeth. Yeah. Okay. And so a lot of people said, well, they found a decapitated head. They found a decapitated head, but they didn't find a body. Now, and I just want to let people know that's very common in, in satanic ritual abuse. Um, it, well, they a, took, they took the DNA by tooth. Yeah. So they the took the teeth, DNA by tooth. Mm -hmm. So the, whatever tooth that was in there matched Mm -hmm. It was me. So who is to say they didn't take that tooth they took for me and put it in the tests over there? 100, 100%. Out. And that's exactly what I felt had happened because that's that's the trophy head is what they do when they do these kinds of things where they abduct children and where they um, and, and, and generally families that are involved in this kind of stuff do sacrifice. They, they, they also did family pictures when they mm -hmm. first got with us. Um, was not in the adoption that did family pictures and to try to act like I was there for a while. Yeah. 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 So 
with that, I'm going to show some stuff that we have pulled up here. I'm trying to find out why not all of my stuff is here that I'm looking for. Um, okay, actually, I'm, let me show this. I'm going to put this up on the screen. So will you touch on this here, this letter? This Is is it still a sealed letter, by the way? Because we showed this in the last live. Yes, yeah, still that, sealed. So can I don't know if the audience can see that, but if you take a look at that, and, and uh, you look at that picture, if you look there, it's from... Um, it's from Memorial Healthcare Systems, and that's located uh, in Florida. And if you look, and this is your letter, correct? This came from you? This came from the hospital. But I mean, this is this came from the hospital that you went to? Yes. And I and so you were able to give me this letter to put on the screen, like you, this picture of this letter. Yeah, I went to, down to Florida to... Uh, there's a hospital down there that I had, see, I had a heart condition when I was born. And I was able to trace the heart records to that hospital. So when I went to the hospital, I checked in and they seen me for that, for a heart condition with this, with this under that name. And then, so and I then tried to link. It's the same company that that did when I was a child. They did uh, heart studies. That's right. And I just want everybody that's viewers that are watching live right now, if you can please put in comments the name that you see on this envelope from the Memorial Hospital in Florida where he went. Can everybody see that name? And if you see that name, please go ahead. And please type it in the comments. Tell me what you see. What do you guys see? What's the name you guys see in the comments? Please. As they come up, I'm going to post as many as I can, as you guys see what we what we see there in that, in that envelope. And that's a piece of mail that came from the hospital that he attended, that he went to, and everyone can see it. I can see it clearly. There's only one person saying they can't, but everyone else can see it clearly. That's interesting. There, you may be able to spread your screens larger. And they're coming up and everybody sees it. You even see the middle initial, J. Walsh, Adam J. Walsh. Adam J. Walsh, everyone's saying. Adam J. Walsh. One person is saying that it's blurry. Saying it's blurry. I'm sorry that it's blurry. It's why I got these. <laughs> But everybody else is saying that they see it and they see it and it says Adam J. Walsh. And I can see it and it says Adam J. Walsh. And obviously this piece of mail came to you, correct? Correct. One is saying clear as day. <laughs> yeah. So another says, yep, name says I see Adam J. Walsh. Adam J. Walsh. And that's a sealed envelope piece of mail. <clears throat> and I just wanted to show you that as we go. Now, the mother and father when we did the DNA, which we have Reve and John Walsh, okay, we have others that are related to the family, such as Drew Barrymore, because she is Reve Drew. Reve Drew. I'm going to kind of just touch your mute a little bit while I talk, and then I'll, because it's making a back feed, but then I'll, I'll release your mute again when it's time for you. <clears throat> it's making a weird back feed. Um, so Reve Drew is the mother of, of Adam and Megan and, and, the, and the Callahan. And there's one more kid's name. What is it? Callahan. Sorry, forgive me. Let's unmute you. Do you know the the the, the other name? Um No, I don't actually. I can't remember. So and I'm sorry, and I and I I have a, so many notes in front of me right now, and I do forgive me. I'll remember the name after, you know. But um anyway, so the DNA proved that the family was English. And, um, and I'm sorry, and the other names were not able to pull up. So because of that, uh, because of the way it works on the DNA chart, we weren't able to pull it up. But if you guys can see here what the DNA showed, <clears throat> so it's a long list of DNA and it shows all the different types of ethnic background when you look at the DNA matches. And so all the matches on both sides of Adam, which he just got kicked, but he'll, he'll come back, of Adam, and then also of, um, oh, it looks like, here we go, sorry. Of Adam and then of, um, of John Walsh and of Reve Drew Walsh, 
um, actually showed that the mother's side and the father's side were compatible with the DNA of this young man, Adam Walsh. So it showed complete compatibility. Matter of fact, the percentile was higher um, in the um, in the England and Northwest Europe and, and German European background, which was his nationality and the mixture of both John Walsh and uh, Reve Walsh. All the other nationalities were very, very low percentage. So if you can see there, it was 100%, see where it says 100% you? So it's 50% each parent and then it equals 100% him. And then it says 28% and then 17% each parent, ma making it 45% on each parent equaling 100%. So that is what the DNA came up with when we did the DNA. And we did this, like I said, over a course of time. We didn't just rush and we had to do it in a very secretive way because we didn't want them catching who this was so that they would say it was lost like the last time. So it wasn't easy. So you can see on here, we had Adam Walsh added to the tree, so to speak. And then we had, um, that's another, that's another, that's the same chart, only I'm showing it a little expanded there. So if you go down, you'll see like very low percentile in Ireland, Scotland, and Wales, and Denmark and Sweden, okay? Because the actual, both parents, which equals 100%, are German, German, European, and England and Northwestern Europe, okay? So um, <clears throat> there's that. And let's see, I thought I had more here. And then there it is again, it just kind of shows, they, they just kind of do it in a wheel. And in the wheel, it just shows, you know, again, it, it's the 45% and the 30%, which equaled his DNA matches and equaled both his mother and father's um, without being able to get their actual DNA. And something that I found quite interesting, Adam, is this. When you look up John Walsh, anybody can do this right now, and I encourage you guys to do so. When you look up John Walsh, what you're going to see is obviously all of his information. You're going to see everything on John Walsh. You're going to see his full name, where he came from, places that he lived, who he is, what they say, where he came from, all this stuff. But when you look at John Walsh, when you look at Reve Walsh, you're never going to see a birthday for her, no matter how much you look. And one of the things I found out was that when he met her, she was 16. Okay. He was an adult and she was 16. She was still a, ch a minor child when he began a relationship with her. So this is this is, is, this is amazing. This is amazing. And uh, this is absolutely amazing. And she saw it too, she said. Um, but so you will see, um, you will see a lot, a lot of secret behind uh, Reve, Reve Drew Walsh. Adam, I, I had to mute you because it was making a weird background noise. I don't know. Do you have another device on besides this, like a phone or something? Like a, so, okay, so I'm going to unmute you because I know the audience is going to have a lot of questions for you. Um, and so um, you guys can start putting up your questions now. We want, you know, obviously there's going to be a lot of questions here. We touched on everything that happened from the day in the store and on. So I know you want to kind of talk about that because I know people have a lot of questions regarding that. So if you want to I go ahead. Ha I even have uh, information about the day before. Um and information about Otis Tool and how he stabbed me and stuff with uh, during the actual event, how I escaped and on and so forth. Um, in Sears, uh, there's this girl he was trying to get or something. And I went over there and said, you know, that's not something you should do, you should do. Pretty much scared, got the girl away from him, and then we ran up to the vet, the arcade machine to play some games. And then the security lady came in and kicked us out. So um, I went out the store with the kids, but I came back in. And when I came back in, Otis came back in and tried to lure me out to the car, which he did. And I don't know why I did that, but I ended up going in the car with him. So, but if you have any questions, I can answer them too. 
Yeah, um, I know there's going to be tons of questions that that I'm going to post as well. Let me get a let me get a dual screen back here again. Um, you know, there's so much about that. And then if anybody watches the um, the the movie in the '80s um, that happened, that you know they're they're, they're displaying you know supposedly your mom and dad. Um, and you guys can believe whatever you want, okay? I choose to believe. I talked to him several times a month. You know, um, we did a lot of work behind the scenes initially before I brought this story live. But the thing is, is that, you know, there, there's so much more to it. And I really highly recommend that people even watch the first interview and even watch my work. If this is new to you, watch my work. Because we have been exposing this child trafficking industry for mo many years. But when I watch the, the video and I even sent it to you, um, and I watch how they try to portray them as this like impeccable mother and father in which we know better, you know, there was cocaine, there was sleeping around. There's a lot of things. Um, he, the father was very much involved in building uh, in, uh, in, uh, near the beaches, near the, you know, in a private island, as a, in a private island in Fa Florida, they were, he was building hotels. So I always found it ironic that, um, I was always, I always found it ironic that, um, you know, they're building hotels on a private island. Sounds like Epstein. And then this man suddenly, this child is missing. And then they find him, you know, supposedly they find his head. That's all they found was a head. And obviously he has an answer for this. Um, and well, the same time they found the head, I was in the hospital. And Rebe actually came to the hospital. No, he never said that. Yeah. Okay. You never said that in the first interview. Yeah. Yeah. She that's what she did, and um, they tried to say this Adam, and then she just walked away from me. So I looked at her kind of blankly because I was wounded. So you know I was kind of not really there. Yeah, because he hit you in the head, right? Right. So, so the thing is, is that. In the movie, they try to portray one story, and then in reality, we know years later, completely different. But I, what I find interesting is the whole Epstein Island, and then he was they, they were building the hotels on this island, this private island. Suddenly, this man who's a nobody suddenly be, suddenly becomes globally known. Okay, and you know that could happen today with the with the social media that we had. But back in the eighties, what were the chances? What were the chances? You know, so. The movie, when you watch it, and they one of the things they said about you, because a lot of people question how you knew so much and how you knew what to do and how you knew how to protect yourself in, a, in a, such a crazy situation. And you were very educated. And so even in the movie in the 80s, if you guys watch the Adam movie, you guys can just look it up. It's a very short movie, as a matter of fact. Um, the, the, the person playing John Walsh said, well, Adam is very, very smart. He can even find his way back home. He says it in the movie. He says it in the movie. Okay. So, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm reading what people are saying. Um, so that's something that I wanted to talk to you about because people were questioning, like, how did you know? Well, here's the, here's the question. If, if you watch the movie, Reve is supposedly looking at a lamp. They don't have the lamp. And she leaves you over by a new, like, arcade game with a yeah. bunch of kids. With a bunch of yeah. kids. And nobody knows anything. Nobody knows a single solitary thing. Okay. Do you even think that that woman that brought you out was a security guard? Yes, she wore one. She wore one. Because here's she something wore, that I found. She wore like a security outfit. She wore a security outfit. And yet yeah. nobody from the store, nobody from the store themselves spoke to her. You see what I'm saying? Nobody right. from the store ever spoke to her. So she was gone. Whoever this person was took you out. And made sure, and the, and the kids, and nobody else, nobody else was concerned about their kids being missing. Doesn't anybody find that a little missing piece of the story? So all these other kids yeah. that were surrounding, you know, you were the youngest, but all these other kids that were there, nobody has, nobody discovered them missing. So who were these kids? Were they set up to do this? You just never know. You just never know. Never no. know. Okay. So yeah, there's so much to it that does not equate and even to this day it's a mystery you can look it up anywhere okay people were like they caught the killer they did not they did not the killer the supposed killer okay because there was no even though we had which one was uh Otis Tool Tool. Was, Otis yeah, was Tool. Confessing. but then they there was no evidence of that 
Well, he had me for a little while. I mean, we drove to this bookstore and he got some other kid he raped while I was in the store. And I tried to escape. And um, I ended up getting in some other car and ended up down somewhere in Missouri and switch with another kid with that some outing to get away from him. So sorry about the delay here. You know, and here's something I wanted to to kind of mention. Um uh when you were with the family that adopted you, you kept telling them over and over, I'm Adam Walsh. I'm Adam Walsh, right? You kept saying that to them. I I one there's a couple times uh, when my picture was up on the the missing and abducted list, I pointed to the picture and said, that's me. And they kept saying, no, it's not you. No, it's not you. And I kept telling them, yeah, it's me. And that's who I, who I am. And they wouldn't listen. So after a while, I got tired of trying to say that. So I just went to school and did my normal things that I did as a child. So, and I really liked horses. So I went to a horse farm, polo horse farm that I worked for 10 years every day after school. So that's kind of ironic that I like horses and they do too. So, yeah. Anything that you can say that you remember of the house and any any memories of the past prior to this incident taking place? I remember grandma's house more than I do my house. Can you describe it? Uh, it had, it was the farmhouse. They had cows, horses, um, I think that's about it, but I remember John taking me out to see the cows, you know, in the mornings. Uh, even Reve was doing horses a little bit, like polo a little bit. She was out tending the horses. So, well, we have a lot more with Adam Walsh. Um, we have, I believe, proven the DNA here. The DNA came up male, not female. Right. The DNA came up 100% uh, match of both parents, Reve and John Walsh. Okay. When you when we show that, um, but right now we're going to go to a commercial, quick commercial break, um, and we'll be right back. Stay tuned. We'll be right back after a message from Punished for Protecting Incorporated. Each new generation of protective mothers is shocked when they first go to family court and find it doesn't favor single mothers and is willing to jeopardize children. Francesca's harrowing experience with the broken family court system from which she finally received justice after eight months of struggle is proof that there is light at the end of the tunnel. Francesca has one of these unspeakably cruel cases and has responded by shining a large spotlight on widespread failures so other mothers won't be shocked. Punished for Protecting the Injustice System of Family Court by Francesca Amato Banfield. Advocate, mother, whistleblower, founder, and TV talk show host of Punished for Protecting. If you are struggling with injustices wrought by our courts, this book will help guide you through the process. Available on Amazon.com. Search Punished for Protecting and get your copy today. help abolish family court by purchasing Punish for Protecting merchandise. Here are our top sellers. 
See the link in the YouTube video description to find out how to get your Punish for Protecting t-shirt. Get your high-quality Punish for Protecting t-shirt while supplies last and let everyone know that you stand for justice. Are you being re-victimized by the family court system? Do you need help with your case? Go online and book a talk with Francesca. Go to punished, the number four, beingaparent.com slash book hyphen a hyphen talk. Fill in your name, email address, and message to Francesca. Someone will get back to you within 24 hours. Francesca and her staff of volunteers continue to work tirelessly every single day for parents and children who are in need of their help. There have been multiple success stories, including Francesca's, which gives hope to others in similar situations. Punished for Protecting Incorporated has incurred out-of-pocket expenses with zero funding to help families get their children back or to save their children from being taken. We also have provided funds to help with retainers, food, lodging, and travel. We really need your help so we can continue to provide our many services. Any amount is greatly appreciated. If you'd like to donate or sponsor a family in need of help, go to Cash App, Free the Children. And now back to our broadcast. We're back with Adam Walsh. Um, we did a DNA that you guys were waiting for well over, I guess it was over a year ago, Adam. I, I couldn't believe that. We, it was like the summer of last year, I think. Not not this past one, but the one before that, I think, is when we it's did the It's been that long already? It's been, it's been, the more that I think about it, it's been quite a while. Um, and the problem yeah. that we were having was that we had to be very careful with the DNA because we, you know, the last time you and Megan did the DNA, they lost it, <laughs> you know, and yeah. I, I couldn't believe the amount of comments during that program, after that program, where people were going, well, just do a DNA. <laughs> and I was like, did you not watch the movie? Like, did you not, did you not watch the show, you know, the broadcast? Um, but is there anything else that you want to kind of talk about that where you recall? I mean, one of the things I found interesting was if a kid keeps saying that he's Adam Walsh, you know, you took him to the dentist, you took him to different events, you took him to different doctors, but they never took you to a mental health provider, you know, to see why you would think you were Adam Walsh. They just pretended you weren't Adam Walsh. I found that very interesting because they took you to regular doctors, right? They took you to your right. physician and no so on and so No forth. mental health. They just would never mention that you were. 20s. I didn't get any mental health till I was in my 20s. So I was pretty much just on my own with no help. Until I was in my 20s. Did he get any mental health until he was in his 20s? Yeah. And was there a name that they gave you during that time? Michael. They was there a name Michael. that they gave you during that time? Or who did you say you were all during that time? They okay. called me Michael during that time. They called you Michael. Yeah. So what can was, the people that, that do for you, Adam, to help you? In had, adoption papers, which I was switched with another kid. So they switched the kids around, kid names around, I believe. And I ended up being Michael Brandt. Ah, Michael Brandt, yes. 
Yes. Which is, yeah, which is the name. So that had to be extremely confusing to you to go through all of this, all these years. Uh, yeah, after a while, I, I kind of put it back behind me and focused on my future instead of the past for a while. Um, it wasn't until uh, recently that I wanted to get the story out because I'm getting older and I just feel that it needs to be heard. So I never had anybody help me do that, but with, except for you. So thank you. Well, it's my pleasure because I want to expose the whole system. And I've been saying for many years, this is all tied together. And then when Megan came to me a couple of years ago, when she was going through it with your, you know, with John Walsh, um, you know, it, it absolutely, you know, proved it, it proved it. And then when we did the DNA, obviously when I was watching it go and I was seeing like what I showed everybody, you know, on the screen, I was like, oh my goodness, the mother and the father match. And he comes out a hundred percent. People were even saying when we watched the first interview, they were insisting that you were female. And I was like, well, the DNA will prove and prove that you were male. No, I'm male. Um, yeah. And then, I, the, the, I but you know, they want to see proof. For a while, but I'm, yeah, I was they want to see proof. For a while. I understand. And growing yeah. up, you get confused a lot. So for a time, yeah. I got confused. And right. I just want to get my original uh, light back that I had back. Yeah in the day so I can be who I'm supposed to be so so when's your birthday uh, November 14th and you're gonna be how old before. and you're gonna be how old 48 48 48 so and there's people out there that are trying to say that um Governor DeSantis is you <laughs> and I was laughing so hard it doesn't look anything like you. And and I mean, these are the ones that I love the most. It wasn't even the DNA that I needed to even see. I'm glad we finally did. And I'm, I'm glad we were able to, to do it the yeah. way we did it because it, it would have been stopped, obviously. But these are the ones that I just went, was like, it's just, it's just super imposing. I mean, you've got, you and your mother have the identical nose, the identical yeah. nose. No one, I mean, the features, no one can deny these features. Take a look, everybody. I mean, there's look at the mouth, the nose, the eyes, the eye shape, and the eyebrows. Okay, more so I think than even John Walsh. You can see the resemblance there. Um, you can see the resemblance, but it's not as much as it is when I look at Reve and you. Okay. Yeah, so it's just I take ironic. after my mother more than I do my dad. So. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, Jody's asking, do you prefer to be called Lily or do you prefer to believe your biological name, uh, Adam, and your biological? Well, I'm Lily until I prove my, until I pr prove that I'm Adam. So I want my original birth certificate back, but I'm trying to yeah. go through the hoops trying to do it. Well, I found it amazing when we showed the the letter, and I know we showed this last time too. But this was amazing too. With the medical, he went to the he went to the doctor in Florida. He went to the hospital in Florida. They mailed him a bill to Adam. Yeah, Walsh. they accepted Let me, me tell you as right Adam. So, like the the that bottom was the line, hospital it comes that down I was to, supposedly born at. So they couldn't deny me, especially when I had heart medical records from linked to them. So. And I even gave yeah. gave them and told them call call my mother Rebe if you need any information. And I gave them Megan's number and back in the, back before Megan back knew then. I was giving the number out. That bad me. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I know she's um, you know she's dealing with a lot, obviously, with your, yeah. with uh, John Walsh and, and and what they're doing to her. I went to and court with her. I went to yeah. court with her, and and I said, looked at John and Rave, and Rave came out of her mouth said, "That's Barb's kid," and I'm like, "Yeah, okay, you you know, you're just not saying it because how can yeah, you know it's Barb's kid?" And Barb was my adopted mother's name. Right. And how would she even know that? How would she right. even know that?
the thing the, the thing that gets me is that just because of what I know about satanic ritual abuse and what they're doing with the child trafficking industry, filtering these children through missing and exploited, exploiting them through missing and exploited, claiming that they're missing when a lot of them are just mothers trying to protect their children from family court and abusers. Um, you know, I, one thing I can't stand is when I hear a mother abducted her child. Like, it, you, I can't wrap my head around that. It makes me nuts because I know the truth behind the evil. A mother abducted her child. I mean, just just anybody, if you hear that and you're like, oh, no, I'm so glad the child was found safe. The child and they see the child, a perfectly healthy, happy, smiling child until, you know, they take the child away and then place the child and the poor mother in jail or whatever. You know, think about what you're saying. Like, try to put your brain back together again and think about the whole, think about the backstory, okay? Why mom would have to run with child? I mean, you know, it, it's just, it, it's mind blowing to me and it, we're seeing it so much. Um, but clearly we've tied this very much together. We've tied it statistically. We've tied it, we've shown the traffic, child trafficking industry. It is so evil. It's just so evil and it's very um, sophisticated. It's evil and sophisticated. And to see that John Walsh was building an island in Florida when this all took place and you went missing and no one saw anything and a security guard ushered you guys out because the way you, there was a fight. And then the next thing we know, they're trying to claim that nobody was there to speak. Nobody saw you, nobody saw anything. Come on. I mean, the story doesn't fit. The story doesn't fit. I do believe that we have blown the lid off of this um, in multiple ways. Um, and, you know, I, I really don't even know what else to say. I think that you'd have to be completely foolish to believe that, that um, to not believe that this is actually happening in this country. Um, you're, you don't want to know. I think that there's just something within you that doesn't, that you don't want to know that things are this, this well, scary. Well, immediately after the- I escaped Motors Tool, I ended up going into a foster home. So, in yeah. Washington State, clear across the country. Yeah. I remember you saying that. I remember you saying that in the interview. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So, like, think about that. Why would Reve even know about the person that adopted you? Why would she even know that? And you're over in Washington, state of Washington. People are asking oh, how they can my help birthday, you, Adam. She said, as a mother, of my heart breaks there. What, with what you've been through. On my birthday, I got a Teddy uh-huh. Ruxpin bear. Oh, and that was then? official Adam Walsh bear. Yeah. I think we're having... Isn't that funny? Adam Walsh bear is Teddy Ruxpin. Oh, really? And I got that for my, I got that yeah, for I my didn't, birthday. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't... Oh, we'll have to look that up. Though. You can Google that. I didn't know that. That's interesting. I did not know that. People are asking what they could do for you. Is there well, anything that people can tell, do for you? That you yeah, would like? tell my dad I'm still alive. Spread the, yeah, spread the word. Listen. Spread the word. Make everybody. him listen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Jody's asking, how did foster care treat you, Adam? Like any other kid, I guess. Uh, it was on a farm, so, and they treated me pretty well. I mean, until I got adopted, which was a scene, I made a scene during that because I didn't want to be taken away again because that was traumatizing for me. Yeah. Um, and... When I got adopted out, there was a new house. Uh, I don't know how long they lived there before, but it didn't seem that long. They did family portrait pictures and I was adopted with another kid. Um, who I believe was, was abducted as well. Cause he, he said, these are, he told me back then, these are for to cover up why they took us that's what he said so wow yeah wow so he took family portraits as if you've always been there right but you were adopted to them right what about the people on the farm were you telling them that you were adam walsh or what were you doing with the original foster no i kept myself i was really quiet as a child 
I didn't really t- had the courage to talk to anyone because I was too uh, too afraid a lot when I was younger. It's a very terrible thing to happen. We see a lot of gaslit children in the family court arena. You know, we see a lot of abused children that keep their mouth shut or they'll tell about abuse and then no one will help them. So they just won't talk about it anymore or they'll retract right. what they've said. That's yeah. what happened to me pretty much. Yeah. So you, so your parents even, your mother had even seen you after the so-called abduction and just walked away. I wonder if somebody wanted her to see you or she just had to take another look. She had to take another look, the, I think. I my know. theory, here's my theory. The, with the satanic ritual abuse, they take the head off. That's what they do. That's the trophy. I don't believe John Walsh is as evil as we know what he has done and what he's done to Megan and the children and also leaving the baby in foster care instead of with the family. That's how, that says a lot right there because he's not protecting children in any way, shape or form. He knows how bad foster care is. Um, but I think he didn't have the heart to have you killed. So he had you sent out. That's my, that's my theory behind it. Yeah. I think there's theory. something in him that couldn't go that far. Okay, he could go far enough, but he couldn't go that far because all of Hollywood have to sacrifice one. Usually it's the firstborn. Okay, <clears throat> so you are the firstborn and they're all tied together, these people. So any questions that anybody wants to ask anyone? You have to, some questions. I see them popping up. I'll contact Narcissus. <laughs> she said it's not popping up for some reason, but this woman... Yeah, I'll contact Narcissist Controller Walsh too. Oh, so gladly. <laughs> I don't know why it's not popping um, on my screen, but this has been pretty amazing. Again, guys, we had the DNA of Adam Walsh. Um, it's I'm, I never have this problem, which thankfully we got a lot on the screen. The only other time I had this weird sound weird stuff was the last time I interviewed him over a year ago. It's terrible sound, but I, I really encourage you guys to mark on Punish for Protecting News. You can go to the news channel. Where'd she go? So they want this video down. They want this video down. They just knocked me out. <laughs> but this is the percentile. I, mean, I got kicked out. They want this video down. It wasn't letting me put stuff up. Can you guys see me? Yeah. Um, but anyway, that's just showing the, the compatibility. It shows 50% of the, of the parents and then 100% Adam. Um, yeah, Adam was the host for a minute there. He can handle it. <laughs> yeah. So, well, Adam, is there anything else you want to tell people? I mean, this to me is a very amazing thing that has just occurred that we I were able to go. Get... I just want to be pushed forward, not look too much in the past. But um, I met Megan. I, I'm glad I got I got this here. When I went down there, I went actually went down to Florida and went and saw her. Um, I went to court there on, for her behalf to, to support her and it's terrible what they're doing so I wish they could just knock it off once they see me or something and maybe fix the family issues but I'm not really there for that but if I could I would yeah, it is. It's very sad. Um, it's it's amazing. I mean, you know, I, I was kind of an 80s kid, so I a teenager. And, you know, I look at all and I don't know how much you know this because you were much younger, but I not much, much younger, but somewhat younger. But I see all the stars today who's dead now, who, you know, just who we watched as kids, which programs we watch and how they were like more wholesome and they're involved in 
um, you know, they're involved in um, just all this crazy stuff. And they're not who we who we looked up to when we were younger. You know, it's all coming out now. They're older now, but they don't look at home and, and the pedophilia and all this evil and the child trafficking industry. And, you know, it's, it's like to watch these people like on TV or whatever movies um, and to see what we used to think was innocent and now is just so evil. And as they keep getting exposed more and more and more, you know, we're seeing all of this. It's all coming out in the in the light finally. And some people thought that this stuff was crazy to hear this, but that's because they want to live under a rock. They don't want to hear the truth. But I mean, here it is. I mean, like I said, the DNA matched, you know, the, 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 you know, everything matched. And it was very hard to get this. And it was very hard to bring this forward. It was very hard to do this. It took a long time because of who your dad is and because of the, the years of this de the decades old evil. All you have to do is type in the White House website and you will find John Walsh there. He's infiltrated into everything. Okay. So, you know, there's recently a little girl who was just found safely. You know, her mom has been, her mom has been put in jail um, for quote unquote abducting her. It's insane. It's just insane. And I'm like, what are you guys rejoicing about? Where is this good? Where is this good? Like we have to, we have to change this garbage that's happening. We have to change it. And this is how we expose it. And thank God for social media. Yeah. Okay. But this story never fit. This the story of the eighty one. 1981 abduction of um, Adam Walsh. The pieces never fit together. They fit together now. They did not fit together then. So this is amazing. Thank you for all you do, Francesca and Adam. Uh, I will do everything in my power to get the truth out. Thank you so much, we the people. When we the people, it's exactly right. We the people. So, Adam, what else would you like to say, talk about? It's, um, it's got to be pretty pretty amazing for you. <laughs> yeah. I'm definitely being played with, by the way, because we can't change our lettering. We can't change our photos quick enough. They're definitely messing with us. And I, and I, and I got messed with this badly the last time you were on. I get messed with with certain topics, and this is one. We're off the air. <laughs> hope not. Um, I remember that day vividly. So, remember, so now Megan Walsh also had a DNA. Just remember that after those right. of you that are watching. So, that test was already what'd you say? Yeah, the first Megan one they already had the test, but she didn't do you guys the, went for the, DNAs. She, we did DNA, but we didn't do the test like you did. We're having a delay, and we're having a we're having a delay. Can you, would you talk about the DNA you have with Megan? Yeah. Um, we, we did a straight DNA. We didn't do the DNA test like we did here, which we should have. Yeah. Yeah. But they, they intentionally lost the first one and then they claimed the second one didn't match. Um, but right. see, the good news is that that DNA was in the pool. That DNA was in the pool. So when we did your DNA and we did it secretly, everything came together. So that's about all I can tell the audience. I'm trying to, to do this in a way where, um, you know, we had to do this in a certain way in order to get it going. Or we would have never been able to get this information out. Adam, what do you think your dad will do next? Any Anything? Probably won't call me like he will. Um, I did try to call him on the phone once. I spoke to him on the phone once. Um, he'll probably deny it. I don't know. Knowing him, he'll probably try to deny it. So nothing in the past comes up, I'm sure. Trying to cover his own butt. Um, yeah. Did you, did you watch the Adam story, by the way? Did you watch that? Yeah, movie? I, I've that seen That was like 45 movie. minutes long? Yeah, I've seen the movie. What did you think of it? What did you What did you think of it? Like, did Did you feel like anything was 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 on with it, as far as where you're concerned? Well, some of it was accurate, but some of it, the rest of it wasn't. So, it was only one sided, 
and yeah. video clippings of me jumping in the back of the car and stuff mm-hmm. as they recovered. Yeah. Yeah, I, I see what you're saying, Susan. I'm not even I'm not even I'm not even paying any attention to that, as you notice, because, you know, obviously there's people that are trolls. <laughs> yeah, I had I dealt with trolls. I was like, boom, 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 dealing with trolls a couple of years ago. I have completely troll. I'm trolls are under my shoe. <laughs> I don't even waste my time. <laughs> I mean, it's like as obvious as the day is long. You don't even need a DNA for this. <laughs> That's how obvious it is. So. You're a wolf. That was my dog. She barked. She goes, I don't like trolls either. <laughs> so, well, I like. I thank the audience for watching. I hope you enjoyed this today. I know this has been a great, um, you know, a great uh, day to be able to bring this to the attention of the world. Um, share this, like it, you know, share it as much as possible. Um, it is important, you know, obviously censorship is real. Um, so let's get this out even further. Um, spread it with your friends list and so on and so forth. Get the story out. And, um, you know, like I said, we had the blood, uh, we had the, the DNA done. Um, and this is what we've come up with. Not just that, but it was also the um, the, 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 the facial, what do you call it? The, the facial, um, uh, I don't know what they call it, like superimposing the mom's face. The nose, the eyes, the mouth, the eyebrows, the fact that her date of birth is nowhere to be found. The fact that Megan Walsh had a DNA as well. So it was in the pool, remember, of the DNA when we had Adam's DNA done. The fact that they proved him to be a male and not a female, even though people were saying he was a female. And the father's face as well. The memory, the memories. Um... um and then all the things that you talk about, Adam, all the things that you talk about, your own specific memories. Um, every time I've ever talked to you, it's always consistent. Over all this period of time, you know, I try yeah. to stay in touch with you, talk to you weekly sometimes. Um, you know, it's always consistent. But yet the story of Adam Walsh has never been. It's always had a lot of holes and questions and just nonsense just nonsense. The fact that the child trafficking industry is what it is, um, the whole thing, the whole thing. So to me, it's like, that's how you, that's how you get to the bottom of stuff. Okay. That's how you have to be a thinker. You have to, and we have to understand also the, 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 the corruption that's involved in the satanic ritualistic child trafficking industry, the, the way it is, like I said, it's not just evil, it's evil and it's sophisticated. So that's why it's been able to operate for decades through the family court, through child predator services, um, you know, through law enforcement, through politicians, through all these people, through all these people, um, you know, that are that are um, that are involved in this, you know, to the point where they claim they lost the DNA. That tells you something. Everybody knows they did not lose the DNA. They know they didn't lose the DNA. We're not foolish. But we want, but so people will say, ah, oh, they lost the DNA, let, let it go, or or it's not legitimate, or what have you. It's pretty obvious. It's pretty obvious. So be a good thinker. I know that I go by my gut all the time. I go by discernment, and it's never failed me. I deal with countless victims all over the country. We're in and out of these fake courts all the time. And you can ask any of my clients, if I have an opinion about something or I have a, a direction to go in, it's it listen to it because God knows the answers to things before we do. And when I, um, you know, when I um, when I go in a certain direction that may not seem the right way to go, it always turns out to be the right way to go. Um, Reve, loving mother, she must surely be publicly taunted Megan about having her kids and blame Megan for not having them, knowing she and John were, were holding them completely from her. So, and it is Francesca, your gut doesn't lie. And I knew this about you, Adam. And so did your sister. Your sister believed yeah. that you were Adam Wall. He met you in person. I mean, you yeah. know, she met him in person. Um, so, and here we are. That's to the point that she went and got a DNA with you, you know? I mean, your father and mother should have ran and done that. They're, they're, they're hiding a lot. They're hiding a lot. It, it makes zero sense. It's simply know? that they won't. Mm-hmm. That Megan doesn't call him up and say, hey, I'm alive. You need to do a DNA test. And if they were truly loving parents and really wished that I was alive, wouldn't they do that? 
I mean, if I was missing a child who claimed they're dead and then found out they maybe could be alive, mm-hmm. I'd have my DNA tested with the child. One hundred percent. In a heartbeat. One hundred percent. In a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. You wouldn't think twice. You wouldn't no. think twice unless you had something to hide. Unless you had right. something. So. Well, thank you, everybody, and thanks for watching. Um, and thank you for being here, Adam. I'm going. I'm calling you Adam by your by your biological that's, name. Yeah, that's fine. Biological. Um, and I know that you want you want to just live your life as who you are and be authentic to yourself. And I think that that's extremely important. So I'm very happy, um, you know, that you came on today. And um, I'm very thankful, you know, that we were able to do this. I'm very thankful. I'm, I'm actually, there's going to be more. There are more other matches that we have not revealed on here for, for multiple reasons that are also attached to the Walsh family um, that I, I didn't want to bring out here for the sake of, of legal reasons. So there's that as well. I just want to let you guys know that um, there's that aspect as well. So um, that's pretty much it. And I just thank you guys for being here. Um, and thank you for watching and um, and have a really good evening. And thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah. Okay. Bye, everybody.